Good afternoon, this is Teacher Roberto and this is our last video for um, for this week um, about the pronunciation module. Um, the skill number two that you are going to learn is uh, to pronounce words con containing the silver pin picture sound correctly. This is the second sound or the second picture that I'm going to introduce and listen to the pronunciation of this picture silver pen e silver pen e silver pen e the patterns in which this sound is found are only three sound only three patterns and remember that this um, I would call it sticker um, tells you or reminds you that you should learn them by heart that you should learn them in order to identify them in in a word when you read the first pattern is the 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 vowel I. We find the silver pen a picture in words containing the, the the vowel I. This is the most common. Also, the second pattern is the UI. And the last one is the Y between two consonants, right? It's clearly explained here. Between two consonants. There are absolutely um, exceptions to these three patterns here. For example, in American English, we say been. However, in British English, we say been. But here, I'm teaching American English. So I'm going to concentrate on been as the pronunciation for this word. Also, the word um, we mean. Women. Silver pin e women. And this one, silver pin e busy. It's short, right? This is the pronunciation, or these are the um, spelling patterns for the silver pin e picture. Remember to practice this three and the exceptions as well in order to connect the spelling patterns with the picture and this connection is established by practicing record yourself practice in front of a mirror and read and read and read so that's the that's my advice right? that's my advice and also when you speak English with your teachers or with a friend try to monitor the way you pronounce words containing these three patterns and I'm pretty sure and also the exceptions and I'm pretty sure that your pronunciation with this skill is going to improve examples to illustrate the patterns the first step as I said in the previous videos is to produce the sound of the picture Step number one is produce the sound of the picture. Silver pin e. The words containing these patterns are all of this. I'm gonna again start doing the step number one. Silver pin e. Big city. Innocent victim. Drink milk. Children's film. Simple living. Pattern number two, the Y between two consonants. We have the Y and the Y is between the S and the S. So these are two consonants. So the pattern, the, the rule, you know, it's um, fulfilled here. System. Silver. Pin a 
system, gym, syrup, rhythm, him, silver, pin, e, build, guild, guilty, quick, guitar, guilt. Again, I'm going to practice this again. I'm going to pronounce this again. Step number one, the pattern. Pronounce the picture of, of, of these patterns. Silver, pen, e. Big city. Innocent victim. Drink milk. Children's film. Simple living. System, gym, syrup, rhythm, him, build, guilty, quick, guitar, and guilt. Of course, as in the previous skill, we had exceptions. This is, this also has exceptions as well. The silver picture sound had exception, and the spellings below are part of um, of these exceptions. Even though we have the I, and if I go back to the to the pattern number one, the most common one, the most common pattern in which we find the silver pin I, is in the I, but here. We have the I, but the pronunciation of this pattern is, is not like the silver pin E. So, the pronunciation of this is like this picture. Purple shirt E. Uh. Purple shirt E. Uh. Firm. Smirk. First. Thirst. Flirt again, purple shirt, a uh. firm smirk, first thirst, flirt, and there are also some other words that contain these, these, um, this pattern. Another thing that I want to, um, highlight or stressed here is that the the consonant R is also here so that changes the sound of the silver pin uh, into per purple shirt uh, right changes the sound so the letter the, the consonant R um, should be um, should be um, or we should pay attention to to this consonant when we pronounce words as well, especially words with the I. Again, firm, smirk, first, thirst, flirt. And also in the word thirst, thirsty. It's another word that we find, the purple shirt. Um, sound. Words for practice. The step number one in order to establish a connection between the picture and the, the, the patterns is to, to pronounce the sound of the picture first. Step number one, pronounce the sound of the picture. Silver, pen, e, fish. Silver, pin, e, chips. Silver, pin, e, trip. Silver, pin, e, Italy. Again, silver, pin, e, spring. Silver, pin, e, picnic. Silver, pin, uh, this 
silver pin a thing silver pin a winter silver pin a wind please make sure that you practice this following the steps pronouncing the picture first pronouncing the sound of the picture and then the word sentences for practice as i said say the sound of the picture and then read the sentence this is an example silver pen this kid is sick now record yourself reading these sentences and practice them and save the the, the audio this is one strategy strategy that you can use to um, see whether you are improving or not um, in the pronunciation of the silver pin a picture make sure that you record yourself record yourself always and save those recordings in a in a file in a folder so that um, you have it there in order to compare if you are making progress this sticker indicates that you have to read the paragraph this paragraph you have to read the paragraph and once you practice the pronunciation of this one you should record you should send me a recording of your um, pronunciation performance for this paragraph and once you do that we're gonna move on to more practice since I've covered the skill for the green TE and the silver pen E now it's time to practice both of them together in order to see if you have mastered or to see if you have learned um, these two skills correctly um, I'm gonna read the first three lines for each sound and then you are going to read these lines at home and then you um, and then we discuss this uh, in the WhatsApp group the first one the first step is to pronounce or to articulate the sound of the effect of the picture first green tea e leave feel least silver silver pen e live fill list next one green t e beat steel each this one silver pen e bit still itch see the contrast see the difference between these two pictures I want you to tell me which is the difference between these two pictures right which is the difference between this, these sounds make sure that you pronounce these ones at home and if you face any issue pronouncing or distinguishing the difference between these two let me know and I can um, um, explain further about the difference between these two sounds. Now, this sticker indicates that you have to read this poem containing the sounds of the skill one and, and two, differentiating the two skills. This is for grading. Um, you should read this um, as clear as possible. Once you practice this, um, at home once you are um, sure that your pronunciation is 
clear and you clearly differentiate the two pictures or the two skills that I have taught, then you should record yourself. You should, you should send an audio either to my WhatsApp for feedback or I would suggest to upload this one uh, to Edmodo. For those students whose data um, planned is um, limited, you can send the audio to my WhatsApp. No problem about it. And I have also included in this uh, last um, section of the pronunciation module a song. You are the reason. Please go to this link and listen to this song. Over here is um, the lyrics uh, of the song so that you, while you listen to the, to the, to the video, you also f f um, read along and then after you uh, listen to this and read along, of course, you are going to explore. You're going to explore what you're going to explore. You're going to write the words of the two sounds, of the two pictures that we cover in this module. Over here, in this column, you are going to write here all the sounds that represent, or all the words that represent this picture. You are going to pick these words from this, from the lyrics of this song. And you're going to write them here. I'm going to give you one example. The word re reason. I'm going to write it here, reason, word number one, re, reason. Once I put reason here, I will have to pronounce this one, reen, t, e, reason. And then you make sure that the pronunciation of these word is exactly the same or is connected to the picture because if I put this word here re son pay attention to what I'm gonna do right now let's say that you put this word here because you think that this one represent this picture then to make sure if I'm right or not I will have to pronounce the, the, the sound of the picture. Silver pin a reason. No, it doesn't. We, we can make the connection. Again, reason, silver pin a. There's no connection between this one and this one. Again, but... <clears throat> Let's say that you find a word, that you find the word, um, yeah, that you find this word. Word two, I'm going to number them with. Then you're going to pronounce the sound that represent the picture, silver, pen, e. Uh, with perfect we see that there or we notice that there's a connection between this word or the pattern i here is the pattern and the um i'm gonna underline the pattern and the picture right this is just these are just examples this is how i want you to do this once you find um, the words that represent this sound, you are also going to find the exceptions to these sounds, the exception to these two pictures over here, and you're going to write them in this 
in the space or in the rows below. So make sure that you carefully listen to the pronunciation of this song and decide or explore which sound belongs to what picture and also if there's any exceptions to these two. Um, I'll be putting up the, this, um, this content on Edmodo and also the quizzes um, for this module, for this pronunciation module. Once again, if you have questions about the, the, the content or uh, of the skills that I have taught, please make sure or, or that you um, let me know about any doubts that you may, may have in regards to this topic. And I'll be more than glad to, to explain um, them again. All right, people, see you tomorrow. In class, um, if you have any question, uh, I'll be preparing a Zoom meeting uh, for those students whose um, understanding to this topic is um, a bit um, um, feeble. And uh, I'll be more than glad to have you over on my Zoom meeting tomorrow. Take care and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.